Check tool up on my screen here and I've gone through debug session on this part and I love the way it works I love the data that's coming out of it I love the way it's reporting and I love the way it's doing its alignment but notice I've got a bunch of code in here where I've got the display of the results on which is this D under this display column here so I'll just highlight this line of code here and just show you that look at my display results is on so what I've done though is I've gone through every line of code and made sure that it's displaying the results appropriately and that my tolerancing is correct. So now what I want to do is before I hand this off to my client, I would like to turn that display to showing the results when they are out of tolerance. I don't want to have the client every time the display of the results comes on to have to look at it and make sure that it's in spec. I would rather them just barrel through the code and only display when the results are out of tolerance. That way it kind of flags the operator to take a look at the data and to make sure that they took the point in the right location or that they didn't miss a point. So I'm going to change all of those displays now to show when they are out of tolerance. But what I don't like to do is go through and just like click on this one and then control, click and control, click and then control, click. I don't want to have to go through that. What I'd like to do is I will go to the display column here and just click on it with the left mouse key. And now notice I am sorting my whole soft check tool here based on that column. All right, so I'm going to go down to my first line of code that is going to display the results. And it's this line of code here starting at 63. Now notice I will click on that line of code and I will scroll down to the last part of the of the measured code or in this case it's a dimension piece of code so I will shift click on that and I'll highlight that entire portion of the code that is displaying the results is on Now I've noticed I've got a couple comments in here and I still would like those to display so I'm gonna hit my control key here click on that comment and click on that comment there and I will also click on this movement of the device position. I want that to display on. So now I've just got code that is measurement and dimensions. Now I'm going to go down to this display results icon here. And I'm going to click on it once. And that displays the results off. And then I'm going to click on it one more time. Now it's going to display the results only if the result is out of the tolerance that's specified. That's a little bit cleaner way to program. And it flags the operator. Just in case something is out of spec, they can go back and take a look and make sure that it wasn't their measurement that gave them the results that are out of spec. Now, if I go back up to the top and I click here to sort by line number, what I usually do, though, is after I make any changes, even if it's as simple as turning the display of the results only out of tolerance, I will always go through debug one more time just to make sure that I haven't changed something that I did not want to change. So I'm going to go do debug one more time, and then I'm going to pack this tool up and hand it off.